everyone. I've tried to film this video like three times now, um, and I cannot for the life of me get my camera to focus on my face. Um, so here's to hoping. So anyways, if you can't tell for the title, the Plum Blossom Tour was just announced. So um, my managers and I were talking about it and we thought it would be a fun idea to maybe do a video because um, when we were trying to figure out the tour, we were trying to think of what cities, you know, yada yada, all the fun, all the fun things. Um, and once the 50 cities were finally finalized, my manager asked me, he was like, oh, have you been to each of these cities? Do you actually have like memories in each of them? And I was like, I actually do, surprisingly. I have stories for each of them or more just like general memories of being in each of them. Um, and part of the reason that I even wanted to do this video is because one of the stories is kind of insane. Um, and unfortunately, it's at the very, very beginning of the video. So if the rest of the stories aren't entertaining, I'm sorry. <laughs> Tour information is down below so that way you guys can make sure you can check out the links and everything and hopefully if you're in one of these cities you can come get a ticket and I can meet you and I'm excited. It's my first headline tour. Um, even though I'm super nervous about it, I think it'll be a really, really great experience and I'm excited to visit each of these cities again um, disregarding San Francisco because I'm there all the time. <laughs> Anyways, the first city that we're visiting on the Plum Blossom Tour is Chicago. And so I'm going to talk about a story from Chicago. I have only been to Chicago once in my entire life um, and it was literally out of necessity. We took a flight in and we took a flight out. That was basically it. It is the one good story that I know that people will find interesting. And if you don't find it interesting, please just lie to my face about it. But anyways, let's get started. So Chicago, I was not actually supposed to go to. It was the only city that my family could catch a flight to San Diego for. We were in upstate New York visiting my grandparents and there was huge rainstorms at the end of our trip. So our flight out was actually canceled. We ended up staying for four extra days. And we were trying to go to LA because we wanted to see family friends in LA after our trip to New York. Um, but the closest flight that we could get was one out of Chicago to San Diego. We got on a flight after our four days of waiting. We just really wanted to get closer to home and we just want to get back to the West Coast. So Chicago was out of necessity rather than something that we thought was going to be fun. Ended up being very fun, but we got on our flight and it was the worst flight I have ever been on. My anxiety was at peak performance. My mom booked us like one of the last two remaining hotel rooms in all of Chicago. And so we flew to Chicago and we landed. The plane looked like it was about to touch a bunch of houses that were right on the edge of the wing. And then when we landed, the tarmac had like five inches of rain. It was just like horrible. So when we got to the hotel room, I was very relieved to sit down and put my stuff away and move on from that traumatizing experience. But we couldn't because when we got to the hotel room after we put down all of our stuff, we found that the closet had clothes in it and the drawers had rental car information and more clothes and there was flip-flops on the bathroom counter and there was a cigar on the ground. Um, so we called security and security came in and they're like, we don't know what happened, um, but you should not stay in this room. And we're like, uh oh, well then do we have a place to sleep? We know that there's no other hotels in the general vicinity that have any space for us. Um, so what they did is they bumped us up to the presidential suite, which was fantastic. My parents got their own room. My brother and I got our own bed. There was space for us to walk around and view Chicago. It was it was great. But yes, uh, besides the fact that the flight was traumatizing and when we walked into the room, we couldn't tell if someone had been staying there. We got to the presidential suite, very fun. Ordered deep dish at 2 a.m., also fettuccine Alfredo. Ate that, slept for seven hours, woke up, checked out of the hotel, went on an architecture tour on a boat, very fun. So yeah, that was my time in Chicago. I'm very excited to go back under the pretense that I am supposed to be going there. Um, so see you in March. The next city is Brooklyn. New York City is one of my favorite places. Also, I went to Peter Luger's there. I went to Brooklyn for the first time since 2008 this year. I had an upset stomach, so I didn't even eat it. If you really like onions and you really like steamed broccoli, you should go. Also, if you like steak, I think it's a steakhouse. Anyways, moving on. When I was six, I didn't know the difference between San Francisco and New York, so I thought that I was born in New York City, and so on my first grade biography, I can't make this up, I wrote, Maya was born in 2000 in New York City. Her favorite color is blue. So now, my six-year-old self always thought that I was born in New York City. Next place is Seattle. I've only gone to Seattle once in my life as well, and it was this year that I actually went for the first time. I was deeply fooled by the sunny weather though, although I do love rain, I was fooled. 
um, and it was beautiful. I also went to a restaurant called Biscuit Bitch. Incredible experience. You walk in, they say, hey bitches, um, and then when you order and you want to ask what things are, if you want to ask what's the best thing that you have here, they'll say, well this one's a spicy bitch, or this one's a really big bitch, you know? So that's how they describe things, and I'm so sorry for the profanity in the last 30 seconds, but it was the most incredible restaurant experience I have ever had. Also, it was delicious. It was very good. The next city is San Francisco. I was born in San Francisco. That's probably the most remarkable thing that has ever happened to me in that city. Um, I also went to school there for four years, high school. I went to high school in San Francisco. Um, so I'm very familiar with the public transportation here. Um, it stinks. Sometimes it gets set on fire and um, it's sticky. I'm a little too familiar with the city. Um, I do love it. It is very pretty. Carl the Fog, you should check him out on Twitter, has his own Twitter account. San Francisco has also been a connecting point between me and a lot of other creators that I've met online, and so that's been really great to meet people in person. Um, yes, so very fun. The last city is LA. Oh my god, what do I say about LA? Probably the sweetest memories that I have um, outside of, of, of growing up in the Bay Area are in LA. Um, it was where I had my very first live show, which was only two months ago. I played with two of my friends at the Moroccan Lounge, Peachy and Say So. I got to open for them and it was my first experience ever playing a live set. Probably one of the most surreal experiences I've ever had, getting to meet people that listen to my music in person and getting to take photos with people. So, I don't know, just really great. And I'm going back in January to play again at the Moroccan Lounge, which I'm really excited about. And now um, I'm gonna go back in March for the Plum Blossom Tour. So. LA was not only my first show, it was not only going to be my third show, it is also going to be my eighth show that I've ever played. And so LA, you will be visited multiple times, third time's a charm if I've messed up on the previous two things. Hopefully I will perfectly execute my live set in LA um, in March. But, um, you know, fingers crossed. I'm just super excited to go back. I'm super excited to visit each of these cities again. Um, I say I'm super excited all the time because it's true. I'm very nervous, but I'm also really hyped about it. Hopefully you will buy tickets to the tour. I'm really excited and I hope to see you there. All right, bye.